Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Serrano. In today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison and doing a detailed look into the um, TCL Stylus 5G on my left. And on my right, I have the Moto G Stylus 2023. And we're going to be taking a look at both of these devices, the cameras, the battery, the displays, the build quality, and also, you know, the cameras and uh, performance. But if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new. But if you're already a part of the crew, so... so First thing we're gonna do is take a look at what comes inside of the box for both devices. For the G Stylus, we get recyclable material, which is really cool. Cause you get this plastic free box. This comes with like a paper um, finish to it. It has the guard right here at the top to keep it sealed in. You get your user guide and you also do get your, you know, um, instructions and stuff like that. And then in here, you're gonna get your type C to type A cable with the SIM remover tool. But that's pretty much everything that's gonna come inside the box. So I do like that environmental friendly packaging. Now on the TCL, we're getting a, um, you know, the, the plastic material to keep the phone in. We also do get our, you know, um, instructions here. So you get your user guide in, in here, start guide and stuff like that, terms and conditions. You also get your SIM remover tool inside of here. You're also gonna get your type A to type C cable, as well as your TCL charging brick. And so when it comes to the charging speeds on both of these devices, you're gonna get 18 watts fast charging on the TCL, and you're gonna get 15 watts fast charging on the Moto G Stylus. So I just kinda wanted to let you guys know that, okay? Now taking a look at the material of both phones, you get a satin finish on the Moto G Stylus. It has a really nice uh, fingerprint free surface, which looks really good because when you turn it in the light, it goes from like a purplish color to a pink color. It just looks really nice and pleasing. It's definitely different. In certain situations, it looks rose gold on the sides. Um, all around it, which looks really gorgeous. I just really like this color. Um, it's for females or men. Basically, uh, I think this color can be used for either or. And then on the TCL Stylus 5G, you're getting a matted, not like really matted, but it's got like the similar finish where it's not gonna gather fingerprints, which I really do like. Um, the Moto has that, that brand in here in the center. The TCL has it down on the bottom right hand corner. And, um, you know, then on the other side right here to the left or the right, when you're putting them like this way, you're going to see that we have the facial recognition worked on the Moto G right there, but you get your fingerprint with power button on the right. And then on the top, you get your volume rockers on both of these. The Moto G has a line separate in the volume rockers so you can distinguish it based on touch. And then the TCO has a straight um, solid button and the side of the TCO has like this textured material for grip, which kind of feels cool because when you rub against it, it's like a braille type feel to it. It's got this um, patterned feel to it. And so the, the Moto G stylus is smooth on the edges at the top. We also have some microphones for on both of these. Um, and then on the right the right side or the left, depending on what way you're turning it, you're gonna have the SIM remover slot for expansion of the storage up to one terabyte on both of these. And then I also do like both of these devices do also have a headphone jack, the microphone on the bottom, the type C for charging, the speakers right here. And then they both also pack, something that I think is really cool for both the stylus, which we're gonna jump into in, in, a, in a moment, but make sure you guys stay locked in with me, um, all right? But if you're still here, just type down below in the comment section, I'm still here, so I know you're still kicking it with me. 
and I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the YouTube algorithm. But you can see both of these devices have like this metal inside the pens because they're actually attaching themselves to each other and they're basically both metal because they're basically attracting it to each other like magnets. So I just kind of don't want to throw that out there, okay? So now let's talk about the displays. We actually have a 90 hertz refresh rate display on the Moto, which is pretty cool. Um, and we're gonna get into the details about each dis display. But one of the things you're gonna see right here is that when we go to quality and we get try to push these things to the highest quality, you can see that we have premium 1080p on the Moto G Stylus and on the um, G sty um, on the TCL Stylus 5G, we have 1440p. Now, as you can see, both displays are at full brightness. So, um, you know, when I hit play on, on both of these displays, you're gonna notice a, a little bit of a difference when it comes to the displays. Now, first thing I'm noticing is that the viewing angles are better on the TCL Stylus 5G when you're looking at it from a different angle but also you're getting a 720 by 1600 on the Moto G stylus and a 1080 by 2460 on the G stylus from TCL or the stylus from TCL. And then you, the, the biggest difference is that, you know, uh, the TCL stylus is gonna be an IPS LCD display at 500 nits. And then the Moto G stylus is gonna be, uh, well, TCL stylus is that um, IPS display. You also do get the IPS LCD display on the G stylus at 6.5 inches versus the you know TCL at 6.81 inches and it's going to be pretty close when it comes to the screen bo to body ratio because the G stylus has 84.5 and the TCL has 84.9 and when it comes to the pixels per inch we're getting 395 pixels per inch on the um, TCL and 270 pixels per inch on the G stylus. So I definitely wanted to do a performance test and kind of clean out all the applications on both of these and just kind of like open up some apps um, at the same time. So they're both cleared out completely. Let's do Play Store 1, 2, 3. And that's going to go to the G stylus. Let's try and they're both going to be giving you four gigabytes of RAM with the exception of the storage where we get 64 of storage on the G stylus versus 128 on the um, TCL. So let's do the Bible app, one, two, three. That time it was the um, TCL. Let's do our, um, we have what other app? We have the bird app. Let's do Twitter, one, two, three. That went to the G stylus this time. Let's do meta, one, two, three. That went to the G stylus real close, but G stylus got that. I mean, the TCL stylus got that. Let's do Spotify, one, two, three. That's gonna go to the, that was real close. Calculator, one, two, three. That was real quick. That was the TCL stylus 5G. Now, when it comes to the cameras on both devices, we're getting 50 megapixel cameras as the main camera on both of these phones. We also have a two megapixel on the Moto G with macro and an eight on the front of the Moto G. And then we have a two megapixel ultra, uh, I'm sorry, two megapixel depth on the TCL, two megapixel macro and a five megapixel ultra wide. And so the biggest difference you're gonna notice is that let's start out with um, just regular photos, okay? And so you get the wide angle on the TCL, which is gonna be really clutch but let me just show you what I mean. So take a wide angle shot on the TCL and then a regular shot. So you can see right here, both phones do have that regular 50 megapixel camera. And you can go right here and see that we have that wide angle camera on the um, TCL, but the Moto G, we don't have that. And one of the things you have to go into is more right here into settings. And on the TCL, you go here and you can see right here we have high pixel for so that's going to give you access to the 50 megapixel shooter on the TCL and then if you click more on this one we have ultra res and so that's going to give you high quality on the Moto G and so let's just compare both of those shots 
So both have some really nice detail. Um, the colors are a little bit different. And when we zoom in a little bit more detail on the Moto G, um, I'm not sure if I took a bad picture. Let's try that one more time. My hand might've been shaken, but let's just try to see. So you get some pretty good detail on the TCL, but um, as far as camera quality, Moto might have it when it comes to overall um, accuracy of colors and detail. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there, but when it comes to recording and video on both of these devices and features, you can see right here, we have dual capture mode for video and for um, pictures on the on G stylus, which I really like. We also have a super macro camera on both of these. So super macro on the TCL and macro mode. When you, when we click photos right here, you can have, you can click this little plant and it will take pictures up to um, four centimeters so that you can really um, get some detail on the faces. And let me show you what that looks like. So you get some pretty decent detail on the picture right there with this two megapixel macro and on the TCL, you could do the same thing. So you can get really close up with the macro camera as well. So um, both of these cameras are recording at 1080, 30 frames per second. And so they're both gonna basically have a really close performance when it comes to the overall shooting capability. The settings for the cameras is gonna be a little bit different too, but you can see the highest we can get on the TCL right here, 1080. Um, we do have some gestures, op op uh, options here on the both of these for capture with your palm. So you both, you could use your palm to capture. You also do have um, shot optimization with enhanced photos and uh, automatic AI scene detection on the G Moto G. You also have um, electronic image stabilization on the TCL. I, um, I'm showing it right here on the Moto G that it's given us, um, if you click right here, you could turn the stability on, on this camera too. So that's pretty cool that they both have stabilization when it comes to the video on both of these devices. All right, so we're gonna do a quick audio test. Let's do the Moto G, um, the TCL first. Let's do the Moto G. So basically when it comes to the sound on both of these devices, I can say that the clear choice for me is the Moto G because it's gonna give you deeper bass, a wider sound stage. It's gonna give you um, 360 directional audio with that Dolby Atmos, which is gonna be more ideal because the TCL actually doesn't have any um, audio booster or any technology boosting the audio inside of it. And so it's not gonna be as crisp and as clear when it comes to the audio and listening experience because the Moto G is gonna have everything built in and even you're gonna get the custom equalizer. And so you're gonna be able to customize your surroundings with the surround sound as well. And so I definitely think it's gonna be a better audio experience on the Moto G stylus. And so when it comes to the front facing cameras, you get a 13 megapixel on the TCL stylus. And then on the Moto G, you get an eight megapixel. So let's do a quick selfie and compare them real quick, okay? So they have both have some really good detail, um, different color science, and they both look pretty detailed as well. So they both actually look really good in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think about both of these devices when it comes to the front facing camera. Let's take one more picture and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. So both of these photos actually look pretty detailed. It's hard to actually pick one out from the other. But if I had to pick 
I would probably go with the Moto G stylus. Now another thing is that they're both gonna have the um, you know side fount mounted fingerprint sensors, and I do see that we actually do have an update for the TCL stylus 5G right here, right there. Um, so you can see we do got those always on notifications on the Moto, which is actually one of my favorite notification systems because you can actually view all your messages without actually unlocking the display, which is actually pretty cool. So I definitely like the Moto's display when it comes to how they actually show notifications, but you get that double tap to unlock for the TCL, which is really cool too. So you can see your notifications and then lock it again. Let's do a fingerprint sensor search, um, test. One, two, three. That was really close. One, two, three. That went to the Moto G stylus. I mean, the TCL stylus 5G. One, two, three. That went to the TCL. One, two, three. Almost tied. One, two, three. That was the G stylus. One, two, three. And it looks like the TCL Stylus 5G is just a tad bit quicker when it comes to the overall fingerprint sensor. Another thing is that you're getting a 5,000 milliamp hour battery when it comes to the G Stylus and you're getting a 4,000 milliamp hour battery when it comes to the TCL. And so the other thing is that you're gonna get Bluetooth 5.2 on the TCL Stylus, which is also going to include the um, feature that I really like, which is NFC. However, you get Bluetooth 5.0 on the G stylus and then you don't have the NFC feature. Now, as far as software, you're gonna get the Android 13 on the G stylus and the Android 12 on the TCL stylus 5G, but you can see right here, there is an update for the TCL stylus 5G. So I just wanted to let you know that we do have an update on here and it's called the 4.06 E9W which is only gonna be 50, less than 50 megabytes of storage. So you definitely wanna download that. But when it comes to the software, we actually have the January 2023 update on the G Stylus, which is, it was long due for an upgrade update. And then on the TC, uh, the G Stylus, the TCL has the January 1st and the, the Moto has the March 2023. 23. So let's see what the TCL update will bring it to because you can see it's installing right now. Now while the TCL is finishing the software update, it's installing it. I'm going to show you the graphics on the Moto G Stylus 2023. And so for the Moto G Stylus 2023, we're actually going to be getting the MediaTek Helio G85 which is a 12 nanometer processing chip and it's also got the Mali G52. And I'm going to test out the graphics on here. But when you go into the settings for graphics, you're going to notice that we are getting smooth and ultra frame rate, which is actually pretty cool. Let's go. So you are getting four gigabytes of RAM, which isn't the highest in the world compared to a lot of the devices out there, but it's actually still sufficient for playing PUBG mobile. And so um, I definitely think it's going to be sufficient for gaming. So you are able to get first blood. The graphics do look smooth and it does perform pretty clean as well. And so you do get that game mode launcher, which is gonna optimize the um, performance just a little bit on here, giving you optimal speeds and stuff like that. So I just got saved by my partner right there, but This is pretty crazy because the graphics do look pretty clean on here. And so I did mention that game and mode that we're getting on the Moto G stylus. So, you know, um, this is right here. You go to games and you can access and download games from here. And it's gonna give you the option to download games. You can also go right here into the gear icon and turn on Moto Game Time. Game Time brings uh, games together with rich content community 
and so it gives you tools for better gaming. You can activate that and then you have the sidebar screen recording add shortcuts, block notifications and block calls lock mode as well as block gestures and disable adaptive um, brightness and auto audio enhancements as well so it's going to bring you a lot of features that i definitely think you would like on here now on the tcl stylus if you go in here and go to game box you're going to get the same deal so you get game turbo mode which is going to optimize the game you can get next vision for the display many notifications come in and optimize the performance right there you also do have your um, ability to do the turbo mode the constant volume the clean up apps in the background optimize network and hide um, games on uh, the draw the, the, the draw and the home draw game box launcher and my games list and three finger screen capture it's, we disable so similar features when it comes to using both of these game modes. So I definitely think they're gonna come in handy. Now, when it comes to the TCL Stylus 5G, or the TCL Stylus, yeah, 5G, you're gonna get a uh, pretty decent processing chip. It's the MediaTek Dimensity 700, which is pretty crazy. And then when you go into graphics on this device, you're also gonna get smooth and ultra frame rates for the game and performance. So as far as the gaming performance on the TCL Stylus 5G, it's got that huge display at 6.8 um, inches, close to 7 inch display here. Team has for the first time. And you're definitely going to be able to draw blood when you are playing this game, especially when it comes to the speeds and the performance. I'm not sure how I didn't get that dub, but um, you know, everything seems to be running really smooth on here. I, I haven't had any issues with it yet since I've been using it. Yeah, so, so far, I really am, enjoy am enjoying the graphics on here as far as gameplay. Um, like I said, it has going to have that 4 gigabytes of RAM as well, so it be should be pretty sufficient. It just got slaughtered. That was crazy. Now, the last thing both of these devices are going to have is that pen feature. And so, when you pull out the pen for both devices, this one's actually got that mechanism where it clicks into place. And same thing with the Moto um, G stylus, it's got the option to click it into place. So that's pretty cool. This one is rounded, more of a rounded shape. And when you have the screen unlocked and you take the pen out of the phone, you should be able to just take quick notes with this device. So you unlock it and then you're, you're gonna be able to um, you know, take down a phone number, take down a quick note, and um, I'm drawing on the display with the um, screen protector glass on it, and I'm able to access it perfectly fine. And then when you put the pen back in, the icon disappears, and we'll jump into those features in just a second. Now, when you lock the TCL stylus and you take out the pen, you're also gonna get the ability to get, the, you get this cool animation. And then you can also take notes with this guy too. You take down a quick phone number or anything to that extent, but um, if they're both going to have that note capability, which is going to be pretty cool. And so the other thing I wanted to talk about was the features that you get when you pull out the pens. So um, right here, I'm pulling out both pens. And one of the things that the Moto has is the, the notes, the, um, you know, I'm saying this one is for like, when you click that, you take a screenshot and then you can actually draw on the screenshot with the pen. So it gives you the ability to draw while taking um, notes on stuff. And then you get the keep notes. You get this one, which is the GIF maker. And so actually that screen recording is gonna record the screen. 
this one is the GIF maker. So you could actually just, you know, do a quick sketch and then it's gonna time it and then you can play it back in real time. So that's what that one does. And then you get this calculator option on here too. Let me just get rid of this, delete. And so what this calculator option is gonna do is do math for you on here. So you get the ability to do that, which is something that I do like. The TCL is gonna have its own dedicated Nebo notes taken app, which I take a ton of notes on here. And it's very sophisticated, which I really do like. You also have your mic, your calculator too on here. So you can also do a lot of math equations with the pen. And then you're gonna also get the screenshot option. This one gives you the e-signature um, option. So you could do your signature on here too and save it and use it for documents and stuff, which is gonna be awesome. And then you also do have the ability to use, this as a magnifying window, GIF maker, and actually access your split screen window. And so after I did the update for the TCL Stylus 5G, we're still on Android 12, but we are on May 1st, as far as the overall um, security and stuff like that. So that's the cool thing is that this device will give you updates, just not any letter upgrades yet because it's still on Android 12. And so this is gonna be on Android 13 with the March security update. So I definitely think that the TCL is gonna have a better display. It's also gonna have, um, you know, um, a bigger um, display to work with, which is gonna be nice. And, um, you know, in my opinion, it's gonna be a pretty solid experience with the overall software on here. So I didn't have any complaints about that. Um, so it's pretty much up to date. Now the Moto will get better updates. It also gives you better battery. It also has better audio performance and it had the TCL is gonna have better storage with the 128 versus the 64 on the Moto. And so, um, obviously this display is gonna be better on the TCL. So the those are the things that I definitely think are gonna be different. And I also think that the cameras are gonna be really good on both. I, um, I think that the TCL has better video, but the Moto has better photos. And so um, that's pretty much what I think about both of these devices. And when it comes to the, the, the overall feel in the hand, they both have really feel really nice. You're gonna get a wider phone on the TCL, more narrow and easier to hold on to on the um, Moto G because it's smaller. But um, you know, that's what I have to say about both of these devices. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I definitely think they're both really cool when it comes to features and stuff like that. But um, you know, it's just based off of what you prefer. Um, the biggest thing here is that you're going to get Android 14 on the Moto G stylus, whereas the TCL is going to be stuck on probably Android 12. So that's the biggest thing, but it has a better display and it has um, the NFC feature, which is good for mobile payments, which is really cool. And you also do have um, some really cool features on the TCL. So it's going to make it really nice to use in my opinion too. So it just depends on your personal preference if you like the display quality or the cameras better or just um, when it comes to using the pen, the TCL is gonna also have a bit more features with that. So that's gonna be a, another solid feature about it. But um, let me know what you guys think about the um, comparison here and um, type down below if I'm still here so I know you're still kicking it with me in the comment section, but I'm gonna get right back with you. I'm gonna show up in the next video. So make sure you guys stay locked in um, for more videos just like this. But um, that's pretty much everything I have to talk about when it comes to both of these devices. So um, I'm gonna get back with you guys. I'm gonna answer any one of your questions in the comment section. So be sure to meet me down there and I'll check you guys later, okay? Later, crew. Peace.